Well, a big weekend with lots of events, including this. Final preparations are underway for the inaugural Mech Mile. It's happening tomorrow at American Legion Memorial Stadium on 7th near Elizabeth. Now, it's not a long race, as the name suggests. It's just a mile, and it entices folks to compete or just taste, take a nice walk around the area. Organizers are expecting hundreds to join in on the fun. We have people who potentially could finish under four miles, and then we'll have people who'll do it in an hour. And both, all of them will have the exact same finish line, the same experience, and will cel be celebrated the same exact way. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker is at the stadium where this is all going to happen. Yes, and Austin, even the most experienced runners, they said they're a little nervous. Yeah, that being said, you know, a sprint is very different from a long distance run. You know, it's not a half marathon or a full marathon. This is just one mile, which actually makes this pretty great for anybody to participate in. And like the organizers say that they have ages ranging from all over the place. And in this story, we actually introduced you to one of those runners who says she's ready, a little nervous and the prime example on why this is great for anybody. There it is. <laughs> Tucked away in her closet. Well, these are pretty good. Just a few medals. That's a Boston one. Earned by someone very humble. I do a lot of running. <laughs> Meet Elizabeth Hindle. I'm not that fast. Or so she says. I think I'm going to be lucky if I do 745. Signed up for the first ever Mech Mile. I always like to say, like, I'm fast among the slow. The unboastful runner. I've done about 40 marathon length or greater. With some serious hardware, I have forced her to show us. And here is a millstone 50K. But Hindel is a good reminder that anyone. I'm 64 years young. <laughs> can do it. Inspiring others like her to take the first step. Start slowly and do what you can. Friday night, she, like others, are preparing. Well, these are the shoes I'm wearing tomorrow. She's got bragging rights, but you could never tell. I and mean, I'm not breaking any records. I'm just having a good time. An example. The older I got, the farther I ran. That you, too, can make big strides. I'm not an elite runner, but, you know, I do okay. <laughs> but when you ask about hers, she'll never admit it. 64 years young, over 40 marathons, just super impressive. That being said, her heat tomorrow is at five o'clock. And if you're out here tomorrow, you'll see some familiar faces. I am one of the runners tomorrow in the media division alongside some of my WCNC Charlotte coworkers. And we are here to see who the fastest media member is in Charlotte. And guys, I am pretty competitive. I don't know if you knew this, so I have some goals. I am ready to compete and run. <laughs> so there's, there's more than a cookie at stake, right? You get like a trophy or something, I'm guessing? Bragging rights. <laughs> Bragging rights. No, right. so that's what it is. There's no cookie. It's a full trophy. Okay. It's it's a trophy. It's a full trophy. And listen, you know, we always say we want an Emmy or a Murrow. I want the trophy. The trophy sounds great. I got my running song picked out, my six minute pace. I'm gonna beat my boss. That's the whole goal. So that being said, uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow on the track. Hopefully you don't Never lose your beat job. The too. Boss. Yeah, hopefully you don't lose your job Never as well. Never beat All the right. boss. <laughs> Austin, thanks. Well this summer, one north.